A very warm welcome to online media. Of course, we are at the Uru Gardens to celebrate uh, Haiti, Africa for Haiti event. Now, we have the president of Kenya Youth Association. Organization. Organization. Yes. Now, it's Konae Apa, and we are going to ask her Mambo Mingi about the event. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm so happy to see you. Yeah, thank yes. you for coming. Yes. You are Miss Wa. Ah, I'm Jennifer Wairimo. Uh, Waridi, mm. well known. I'm Miss uh, President, Kenya Youth Organization. Mm. Right. Yes. What are we doing here today, Waridi? Today we've been here since uh, the, uh, the whole of the afternoon. Uh, we've been here to celebrate the culture that we share between um, Kenya and Haiti. And uh, specifically uh, bringing together the African countries, the African artists to come and uh, you know, speak through art and culture about our our ties between Haiti and, and Kenya. Yes. I think it was a success. Uh, congratulations, first of all. How will it take Hazi, the effort and everything uh, to make sure that this event has come to success? Uh, Africa for Haiti uh, concert. Uh, we, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm here representing Kenya organization and how what and Viongozi Wenzangu about we work together and uh, we specifically a partner of Africa for Haiti. We were not organizer but partner in the joint committee together with the Minister of Foreign Affairs that have given us a space. And Sahi, tunashukuru sana because kidogo kidogo we are getting to these tables and negotiating and also speaking on the behalf of the Kenyan Kenyan youth and even African youth. So uh, Kenya organization is so much pleased to be part of this particular successful concert for the first time ever that we are starting and we hope that um, we are going to form a coalition of youth organization where we are going to continue pushing this agenda forward and promoting harmony and peace for Haiti. Yeah. Now, talking about having a seat at the table, uh, I know when uh, when the people out there here, uh, Kenya youth leaders and all that, they associate you with the Gen Z's. Now, Gen Z's were well, leaderless. Now, Kenya Youth Association in a, in, a, in a Kenya Youth Organization in a Intel, which age group like the millennials? Some are able explain to Kidogo about it. Well, uh, Kenya Youth Organization it is a youth-led organization. It is a non-governmental organization. And in Kenya Youth Organization, we are we have leader. We are not leaderless. Mm. We have leader. Myself, I'm the president. We have the CEO here, Jeremiah. And we have uh, the director, uh, Martin, mm -hmm. and we have Mr. Secretary, Ryan, and right here I have Mitieka, my communication director, mm -hmm. and right here we have an leader. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, thank you. Now, oh, I sit at the table. Do you think tunaenda kuwekewa pesa ya youth hapo hivyo kwa yo kiti? Maybe to finalize on your question, yeah. Kenya Youth Organization, it consists of the Gen Z's and Millennial because Mwishawake ni 40 years. Yeah. So in Kenya Youth Organization, we are a youth-led organization and we articulate and push the youth, for, youth agenda forward. Mm. Yes, and we have leaders because there's no any movement in the world, even in the history of this world that's ever, ever succeeded without a leader. You cannot do it with being a leaderless. Yeah, you have to change the tactics. Yes. Oh, President Waridi, yes. me as a Gen Z, how can I uh, benefit from that organization? Yeah. Uh, so far, uh, Kenya organization, we are uh, at the advocacy level right now, mm -hmm. but also we are partnering and collaborating with other organizations and even government institutions, requesting them to come on board and, uh, you know, help us to push the, to have those economic empowerment initiatives mm -hmm. so that we can be able to empower young people. Mm -hmm. So right now, what we are pushing forward it is the inclusion mm. from the grassroots level because Kenya the organization start from the village level to the sub county to the county level to the national mm. so sauti machinani no. yes sauti zetu machinani so sauti zetu wa zinatoka machinani zinapanda mpaka huku no. si vice versa okay. yeah we listen from the ground to the end of bottom up uh, okay. the major problem facing the youth need unemployment now most graduates are employed. Yes. Now, mkienda pale kwa table, 
hi mna is a uh, employment one of the agendas zenye mna push for ama mna push for yes one of the main 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 thing that we're pushing for in Kenya organization it's youth empowerment and youth opportunity mm -hmm. that is what we are pushing for whenever we get a, a space to speak or a space at the table that is what we are pushing for and uh, we also advising our people at the grassroots level that they continue waanze kujipanga wasingoje serikali iwapange wajipange kufungua organizations na kampuni so that when we are asking for the for the 30 percent of the youth and uh, people living with disability uh, tenders even in the ministries tunaitisha kitu yenye tuko ready nayo because young people we are failing we are failing whenever we want to we, we, sometimes we say tunataka ajira tunataka pesa but we are not ready you don't have even companies you don't have organization and the government can never support you when you are individual you have to be together united na mkue hapo na kwanza kitu moja ambao kwamba tunasema kama Kenya youth organization is that we need an increment of the 30% yes. youth in this country are the most they, ha they have the most population we cannot continue relying on the 30% of the tenders of the youth 50% that Every, all the tenders of the government, all the tenders of the national government and the county government, 50%, zewe, 50%, itaweza kwa accommodate all the youth. Kwa kila mini sita tolewa, ni kumanisha, ukipoa tender, mwingine apia hii tender, mwingine apia, tuko sawa, na wewe kama ukipoa tender, na employ youth wengine. Government, I request the government to have an increase of the 50% from 30% to 50% mm. lakini pia ile 30% bado hatujaiona no. yes so so your parting shot to uh, uh, to the kenyans and then also uh, to the people in haiti uh, well um, we are in solidarity mm. with haiti kenyan youths mm. and we stand with them mm. and we hope as kenya youth organization we are going to have shots and coalition of all many organizations have a voice that we are going to echo we're going to have many initiatives that are going uh, to we are going to spare ahead so that we can harmony between the two countries uh initiative and haiti tunafanya tunafanya Peace because basically how can you be part in each and every county we have a youth organization we have Mombasa youth organization we have Kisumu youth organization so we I plead with the fellow youth Please, if you would want to join us, there is a leader. We have governor. I sit with 47 governors in the country. So we, we, I request the youth governors waweze kuwa reach out. We have our Facebook pages. Yes. Let them reach out them to them. They, let them invoke their names. And we are going to accommodate because this is an open organization and we are always ready to welcome and have people on board so that we can have one voice. And already right now we have almost 2 million members in the country. So we are able to push for the increment from 30% to 50% of tenders both in the national government and the county government. As we wind up, talk to you Uh, vijana kabla serikali tupange wacha tujipange kwanza tutafute makampuni tujireregister na wale wako na kampuni tuanze ku apply tusiseme hii tenda ni ya fulani na ya fulani let's try it before we give up because the future of tomorrow depends on us young people let's also stop propagandas on social media about haiti sijui nini you know before you share counter check the information you're sharing and fact check each and every Uh, share your making on socials and before you make sure you're typing the right thing let's be soldiers and security keepers to, to so that we can stop cyber 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 crimes and uh we we, we share and spread good uh, narrative about haiti because they are brothers sister, the poorest country in the world but yo we can be able to stand with them and support them 
and uh, as citizens of this country, as the youth of this country, we can participate by sharing good vibes on the social media, by also praying for them, and also having initiative that they can bring together the Haiti people here and us going there even to preach peace. Because already our people are already there and they're doing an amazing work. Right. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Asante, Thank you.